Hi there, this is Joanne Rodling from howtospell.co.uk and in this second video in the Building Words series we're looking at building words with prefixes. Can you remember from the first video what a prefix is? Hmm? Look at these little words here. Can you remember? Prefixes are little words we put in front of a root word to change the meaning of a word. There are hundreds of prefixes. Some of the most popular are in, er, uh, il, im, un, dis, pre, ex, ante, uni, by. Recognising and understanding prefixes will help your spelling and reading. Let's look at these. Unnecessary, irregular, illogical, disjointed, uncomfortable. A lot of prefixes change the meaning of the word to the opposite meaning. Happy, unhappy. Legal, illegal. Like, dislike. Patient, impatient. Correct, incorrect. Usually when you add a prefix, you don't change the root word. So multi plus national, multinational. In plus complete, incomplete. Notice the double letters in the following words. We just add the prefix to the root word. Dis plus satisfied, dissatisfied. Misspell, unnecessary, immature, irresponsible. There are some rules which help us to know which prefix to add to which word, but the trouble with spelling rules, there are always exceptions. So, we've got IL prefix. We use the IL prefix before words starting with L. Legible, illegible. Legal, illegal. Logical, illogical. The IR prefix we use before words starting with R. Relevant, irrelevant. Responsible, irresponsible. Regular, irregular. But recognise is unrecognise, unrecognisable. Mm. Always exceptions. Let's look at the IM prefix. We put IM before words starting with M, P and B. Mature, immature. Perfect, imperfect, balance, imbalance. Let's look at some common prefixes with their meanings. But some mean different things with different words, so it depends on the context. We've got un, in, il, im, er, uh, dis, non. These make nouns, verbs, adjectives negative. It means not. So fair, unfair, untidy. Incomplete, informal, dislike, non-smoker, de, dis, un, re. These indicate reversal of the verb's actions. So reverse, back again, back. Defrost, debug, disconnect, disinterested, unwrap, undo, return, retell, regain. Over, under, sub, miss. These indicate wrong or bad or under or too much. So, oversleep and overpopulated, it means too much excessive. Oh, I overslept. Substandard, subspecies, a lowly, not enough. Misunderstand, miscalculate, mmm, I miscalculated. Oh, so it's a bit bad. Hyper, mega, super, ultra, micro, mini. These indicate very big, very small, or too much. Hypermarket, hyperactive, megastore, megabyte, supermarket, supermodel, ultrasound, ultramodern, microwave, microchip, miniskirt, minibus. Mono, uni, bi, tri, multi, semi. These indicate a number, frequency, shape. So monorail, monologue, it's one. Universal, unisex, one or same. Bilingual, bicycle means two. Triangle, tripod means three, semicircle, semicolon, half, multinational, multi-story. Do we spell it with an iPhone or without an iPhone? Mm. This brings us to iPhones, e-book or e-book, email or email, multi-story, multi-story, anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise. Well, some dictionaries have the iPhone, 
Some have no iPhone. Some say both are okay. iPhones come and go. When it's a new word, it usually starts with a hyphen so as not to confuse people. Then soon the hyphen is dropped. Email, now email. This has been ongoing for centuries. British English uses more iPhones than American English. You must use an iPhone when the prefix comes before a capital letter. Anti-British, pro-European. Because a capital letter can't appear inside a word. Well, there are exceptions. I've seen exceptions to this. But... Single letter prefixes, e-commerce, e-book, email. But, as we've seen, this changes with time. Now we have email and e-book. Sometimes if there are two vowels together and can cause confusion, like co-operate, realign, we stick in an hyphen. If a word looks the same as another, recover, cover again, or recover from an illness, then we stick the hyphen in, recover, recover something. Okay. If you like this and want to go deeper into spelling, then check out my Spelling Patterns and Pronunciation Masterclass. Go to my website and check it out, www.howtospell.co.uk. Thanks for watching and listening. I appreciate it, I really do. And see you in the next video. Bye.